Hello, my friends. Welcome to JT House Crochet School. Today we have new small lesson about making stitches that I use it for my motifs from Crochet Magazine issue one. It's our first crochet magazine from JT House Crochet School. We have here six gorgeous motifs, instructions in English, and also uh, yes. Uh, photos and colored step-by-step -step schemes, uh, for example, such element flower six petals you can find here. And uh, today we will talk about the next stitches. Let's see. Uh, next stitch uh, will be double crochet and double crochet work in back loop only. Uh, these uh, two stitches I will show you during this small lesson. And I hope this video will help you to create beautiful elements and projects. For first, uh, yes, example, I will use a very, yes, big crochet hook. And for second part, I will use one of these fantastic colors. It's my favorite Italian viscose. And I will use my favorite still, uh, yes, crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters. So first, uh, let's start and we will create a double crochet, yes, by using such spread. My name is Julia Tushnitska. I am founder of JT House Crochet School. I have created several crochet courses about making tablecloths, topolina, dress dream, about beautiful skirt Quincy, about cocktail dress Martinica and dress Lille, also about dress Beverly with long sleeves, about evening dress Amelie and Angelica, and even created crochet cards about cod spring. All of these crochet courses you will find at jthouse.net. So I prepared chain. Uh, if you want uh, to learn how to make chain, you can find video at YouTube, YouTube channel. I already made, uh, yes, first lessons and uh, there was such chain. And now we will start to make a double crochet, yes, like from first row. And um, when you start, uh, you need to make, yes, you will have base. For example, I have here 13 chain loops. Next, um, you need to start, yes, first row for this. When you're making double crochet, you need to make two chain loops to move up. Yes, and we will insert hook when we will start to make first stitch to the third chain. So one, two, three, to the third. We, uh, we um, do not need to count this one uh, working loop. We just start from this uh, loop, one, two, three. So one time yarn over and uh, now insert hook to the third chain, starting from here and uh, you can take uh, one thread only or you, if you want you can take two loops will be also okay it depends what pattern you have and uh, what you need to create it's not so much matter also um, i will take two loops insert hook below these two threads yarn over and draw thread like this now i have three loops on my hook after we need to make three yes we need to make yarn over draw thread only through these two loops first and second and leave like this you should have two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops again in this way you will create double crochet once again start from one time yarn over insert hook to the chain it can be two threads you can take or one i will take two like this yarn over and draw thread just make a loop yes like this now i have three loops on my hook after this one chain loop sorry a one time yarn over draw thread for two loops on your hook yarn over and draw thread for two loops and we have double crochet looks like this once again one time yarn over insert hook to the next chain below two threads in my case yarn over and make a loop yes take like this we have three loops now on the hook yarn over turn the hook and draw threads for two loops yarn over and draw threads for two loops and we have next double crochet now i show i will show you a few times more the same stage and again One time yarn over, insert hook, make a loop, and after twice you will do the same. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Like this. You have in the beginning three loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. And yes, continue the same, to do the same. 
and like this when you start to work with chain it's not so easy because chain is very small it's not so easy to catch everything yes to hold the chain but when you will have first row after this everything will be much more easy to do and uh, now uh, after this row I will show you uh, yes just how to work when you are working with first uh, ready row yes because we started from chain and now i want to show you the same double crochet but when you have already first row it can be single crochet it can be double crochet you have such row you have yes on the top this two threads you can see them all the time and uh, how to start uh, again start from two chain loops uh, we don't touch this first stitch we start from second one and we will work with this two loops one time yarn over insert hook below these two threads that we have on the top of previous yes stitches make a loop you have the same three loops yarn over and draw through two loops yarn over and draw through two loops again one time yarn over insert a hook below two threads yarn over make a loop and now make this double crochet like we did before so now you know how to work when you when you have already first row now you know how to make standard double crochets very easy just insert hook below two threads of previous stitch yarn over insert hook yarn over make a loop you will have three loops on your hook yarn over draw through two loops and again two loops and like this continue to work this is our double crochet and I just want to finish this row because after I want to show you how to work yes our second stage that we have in symbols I want to show you let's see once again to the magazine uh, you will see uh, how looks the symbol because just now we learn it how to make a double crochet this stage and now we will talk about double crochet work in back loop only you can see symbol yes looks like this with arched line at the bottom part so let's start to talk about this stitch we will start next row and we will make only these new stitches so two times yarn over uh, just yarn <laughs> two, two chain loops to move up and we don't touch first stitch we start from second one uh, you start the same one uh, one time yarn over but this time we will work only with back loop only we will not touch this front loop uh, like you know we have two loops at the top two threads front uh, sorry front and back so we will work only with back loop let's see I will show you by smaller hook once again so we have front loop this one and we have back loop this one we will work only with this back loop during all this row so two chain loops to move up one time yarn over we don't touch first stitch start from second one insert hook below this back loop only yarn over make a loop now I have three loops on my hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, again yarn over and draw through two loops. In this way we just created double crochet and just around back loop, yes. Once again yarn over one time, insert hook only below this back loop, yarn over, make a loop, next do like this two times and finish to make double crochet. Again one time yarn over insert hook below only this back loop yarn over make a loop yarn over draw through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops once again the same working only with back loops during this row you see and in such way you will create a really great nice design you see we have these front loops here at the front and they will create beautiful line in my motifs in crochet magazine the yes jetty house number one you will find such stitches i am using them for making beautiful leaves just to increase yes some lines to increase some parts of leaves uh, that's why it's really nice to know how to do such stitches this way you will be able to create yes a really interesting and big motifs with such lines and the last just i will make stitch 
So in this way we created just now double crochet working in back loop only. You can see the results, such a line we received. And previous row was just standard double crochet and we work it around two loops, front and back loop, just everything we work it around. This time we have yes, such result, different result. You can see this. And now I will work with my yes favorite Italian viscous just to show you uh, how it looks, how to work with really a thin thread by using a small steel hook in size 1.75 millimeters. Let's work. So this time I will work with very beautiful color 606 and uh, this is very beautiful green turquoise thread. Uh, we will start from yes from chain like we did before and um, I will show you how to work with such thin thread. We have 13 chain loops in the beginning. After I need to start first row, so two chain loops to move up and I will insert hook to the third chain. So one time yarn over, insert hook to the third chain below two threads, yarn over, make a loop like this. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, one time yarn over, insert hook to the next chain below two threads and make a loop. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, draw thread through two loops, yarn over and draw thread through two loops. Again, one time yarn over, insert hook to the chain, yarn over, make a loop. Now two uh, yarn over, draw thread through two loops and again yarn over and draw thread through two loops. Once again, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops and two. And we have such result. And again, do the same. One time yarn over, insert hook to the chain below two threads, yarn over, make a loop. Uh, next, yarn over, draw through two loops and draw through two loops. Again, the same and the same and in such way I will just finish to make this row and we will start to make second row where I will make standard double crochet just yes you will see how to start when you have already first row of stitches such result and now I can turn the work and start to make Second row and we will make a double crochet just two stitches of previous row. To start new row I need to make two chain loops. Now we will not touch the first stitch, we will start from the second one and we will go around these two threads that we have at the top. So one time yarn over, insert hook to the second stitch below these two threads that we have on the top, yes like this. Yarn over and draw thread, yes we have now three loops on the hook. Uh, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, one time yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and like this below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops and two. Again, one time yarn over, insert hook below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops and two. Yarn over, insert hook below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw threads through two loops and two. Uh, you can see how it works. Now I will finish this row just faster and show you uh, the last yes part. How to make half double crochet working in back loop only by using thin thread, my favorite Italian viscos, sapphire looks and small steel hook. And uh, we will finish our small lesson. I hope you will use this information for your next crochet motifs and for your next beautiful projects. So the last stage. Now we can turn the work and start next row. So two chain loops to move up, like always. We will not touch the first stage. We will go to the second one. And this time we will work only with back loop. We will not touch front loop. So one time yarn over and insert hook to the second stitch. Take only back loop like this, back loop, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook and again yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Once again, start from one time yarn over, insert hook only around this back loop, yarn over, 
draw thread and make a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Once again, do the same. Just around the back loop of previous yes stitch. Once again, one time yarn over, insert hook below this back loop, yarn over, make a loop. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over and draw thread through two loops. Once again, do the same. I will do this faster just to finish this row and I hope you understand how to work, how to create double crochet and double crochet working in back loop only. And I wish you, yes, beautiful results. I hope you will also visit new lessons about the next stitches uh, that we ha have in our first crochet magazine. And step by step, you will learn all stitches that we used for our really beautiful and um, gorgeous elements. So let's make the last stitch and see the result. We have such line creating, <laughs> created by front loops. Yes, you can see this line. and. Here is our part that we created just now during this small lesson. And we have here double crochet and double crochet working in back loop only. Like this. So let's take it. I am very happy to present you unique crochet magazine from JT House Crochet School. Crochet journal JT House number one includes very detailed colors, step-by-step -step schemes with instructions for them in English. By learning material in the journal, you will create six gorgeous elements for your next crochet project. The graphics are large. Each part of element is in different color. Also on the schemes you will see direction of crocheting. In journal you will find crochet schemes, which show how to create six beautiful motifs from first chain loop to the last stitch. Also in magazine JT House you will see step-by-step -step photos of making crochet motifs. During your work you can compare your results with original elements. Now I want to show you this element that we have in the journal Bernice. It's outer motif, big twig with five twigs and very small flowers on it. And we have here beautiful three leaves. For this element I used my favorite Italian viscose. It's very soft and silky. I love to use this thread for blouses and dresses. Information about this thread you can also find in our journal. In the end of this journal we have detailed instructions about symbols that are used for all crochet motifs. You will find all necessary information and explanations here. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.